thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have just called President Obama to congratulate him on his victory. His supporters and his campaign also deserve congratulations. I wish all of them well, but particularly the President, the First Lady, and their daughters. This is a time of great challenges for America, and I pray that the President will be successful in guiding our nation. I want to thank Paul Ryan for all that he has done for our campaign. for our country. Besides uh, my wife, Anne, Paul is the best choice I've ever made. And I trust that his intellect and his hard work and his commitment to principle will continue to contribute to the good of our nation. I also want to thank Anne, the love of my life. She would have been a wonderful first lady. She's, uh, she has been that and more to me and to our family and to the many people that she has touched with her compassion and her care. I thank my sons for their tireless work in behalf of the campaign and thank their wives and children for taking up the slack as their husbands and dads have spent so many weeks away from home. I want to thank Matt Rhodes and the dedicated campaign team he led. They have uh, made an extraordinary effort, not just for me, but also for the country that we love. And to you here tonight, and to the team across the country, the volunteers, the fundraisers, the donors, the surrogates, I don't believe that there's ever been an effort in our party that can compare with what you have done over these past years. Thank you so very much. Thanks for all the hours of work, for the calls, for the speeches and appearances, for the resources and for the prayers you gave deeply from yourselves and performed magnificently. And you inspired us and you humbled us. You've been the very best we could have imagined. The nation, as you know, is at a critical point. At a time like this, we can't risk partisan bickering and political posturing. Our leaders have to reach across the aisle to do the people's work. And we citizens also have to rise to the occasion. We look to our teachers and professors. We count on you not just to teach, but to inspire our children with a passion for learning and discovery. We look to our pastors and priests and rabbis and counselors of all kinds to testify of the enduring principles upon which our society is built, honesty, charity, integrity, and family. We look to our parents. From the final analysis, everything depends on the success of our homes. We look to job creators of all kinds. We're counting on you to invest, to hire, to step forward. And we look to Democrats and Republicans in government at all levels to put the people before the politics. I believe in America. I believe in the people of America. And I ran for office because I'm concerned about America. This election is over, but our principles endure. I believe that the principles upon which this nation was founded are the only sure guide to a resurgent economy and to renewed greatness. Like so many of you, Paul and I have left everything on the field. We have given our all to this campaign. I so wish. I so wish that I had been able to fulfill your hopes to lead the country in a different direction, but the nation chose another leader, and so Ann and I join with you 
to earnestly pray for him and for this great nation. Thank you, and God bless America. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Very sad moment uh, for the Romney family, uh, for Paul Ryan and his family. They worked obviously very, very hard, but they did not succeed. Uh, they lost tonight the President of the United States and Joe Biden. They have been re-elected. Uh, you see Mitt Romney there, he's there with his five sons, his five daughters-in-law, 18 grandchildren. I don't know if all the grandchildren are there. It's pretty late after 1 a.m. right now on the uh, East Coast of the United States. Those five sons worked very, very hard for their dad. Paul Ryan worked, uh, worked very hard as well. Momentarily, uh, we'll be hearing uh, from the President of the United States. He'll have a very different speech. He will not be conceding. He will uh, have a victorious speech because he was re-elected rather impressively in the Electoral College, I must say. Uh, Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan, they worked hard. There they are on the uh, stage over there in Boston the headquarters. You can see how painful in her face and Romney, how difficult this has been. Uh, for the evening. It started off, they had high expectations. All of their aides were pretty pumped going into this night, but it didn't work out well for the Romneys or the Ryans. Uh, we'll wait to hear from the President of the United States very, very